this is going to be a quick beginner's guide in Jujutsu shenanigans. So I'm just going to be going over all of the basics in the game that you should basically know. So I'm going to go over maybe like some text in the game. I'm going to be going over a ton of stuff guys. Pretty much this is a beginner's guide in Jujutsu shenanigans. So let's get stuck right in guys. So I'm gonna go over as much as I can if you're brand new to the game. So let's get started. So right here we've got emotes. You can spend Robux on emotes as you can obviously see. We've got game passes in the game. Game passes are used to get characters that you don't currently have like Restless Gambler, 300 Robux of that. Pretty much like any, like pretty much like the strongest battleground. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys know all about game passes. We've got codes in the game that will give you a lot of help. I'm pretty sure codes give you money. But all you gotta know, guys, in the game right now, we got Sukuna and we got Honored One. So we got Honored One and Vessel. There's two characters in the game that you can play for free. And there's a ton of stuff that you can learn in the game. So basically, the game's not just about using like the four moves that you've got at the bottom. It's all about using combinations. So you've basically got attacks in the game that you can do. So I'm going to show you guys attack right now, which is going to be Laps Blue, Reversal Red, and then R. So this is a combo that you guys can use, so it's Laps Blue. Then it's going to be Reversal Red, and then it's going to be R. I failed it, but when you press R, you should teleport to him. I did kind of flop it that time. But I'm going to show you guys a really good tech, which is probably like a tech that you really should learn in the game, guys. So, basically, once you do um, kill, well, once you, you see that there's like a blue bar that's going up at the bottom of the screen. So, it says six eyes, and there's a blue bar that's gaining in progress. That is your ult. Every character has an ultimate, as you guys already know. And with the ultimate, guys, you can basically just become really overpowered. But once you do use your ultimate, guys, it's basically hidden combinations in the game that a lot of you guys don't know about. And I'm going to be showing you one of the most overpowered ultimates in the entire game. This is for six eyes, guys. So if you're using six eyes, I did do a separate video on showing you guys every single tech. So if you guys want to see every single tech in the game, you gotta watch my other video on that. But once you do get this to full, well, to full, as you can obviously see, it's almost at full, guys. I'll show you guys what you need to do. But yeah, this game's all about, like, PvP and people, pretty much, and using text and getting combinations. So yeah, it's really, really fun. If You, you just gotta get really used to it, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. But for this tech, guys, you gotta basically get this NPC to really low health. So we can now use our... Well, we can now go ahead and use our ult, but I'm not going to do it just yet, I'll tell you guys why. So you want to get this guy on really low health, like that, let's hit him one more time, and then use it. Now this is what you got to do, guys. So use Laps Blue Max, and then you want to use Universal Red Max, and then you can do this, guys. This is attacking the game that you can do, and it just destroys the entire map. It's personally my favourite one. It's a really old page, you can see. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a ton of stuff you can do in the game, just like that. There's skins that you can get, as you can obviously see, a mod. There's also updates coming into the game all the time. As of right now, this game's all about just PvP and people. So if you're new to the game, guys, all I can say is watch my tech guide video, because that is where you can use combos in the game, but I did say that this is a beginner guide video. So all I can say, guys, this game's just about fighting people, and as you can obviously see, you can change your characters. We know King of Curses. We've got a ton of moves, as you can obviously see, cross room below. So yeah, you just gotta get used, guys, to all of the moves that we've got in the game. It's a really good game, and yeah, that is everything I wanted to show you. Peace out.